Well, I'm at least glad some people found something to do with their nice foil scalding <laughs> tines and seam vents. Yeah, sure. There, they're not they're not going to waste. They're not going to rot on the vine. All right, Eric's going to untap and draw. He's got ooh, the old judge foil bolt. Man, it's real. It like it feels like we lose value when two of the crazy pimped out decks in the room just like are playing against each other. Yeah. It's a fork bolt for wow. Where he couldn't fork? get a foil fork bolt. I don't know. <laughs> We he doesn't have a foil, Jace. We got Jace. Oh, Snap Remand? Oh. Snap oh. Remand. So, I think we're just going to play land, play Jace. Yeah. It, uh, one thing for Paul is he does have all of his basics in hand. So, sure. he's at least got a black and a blue. So, if, you know, Blood Moon does come down, we're not that unhappy about it. Right. You know, we can still play our land, or our spells if we need to. And Eric's just gonna pass, representing um, representing Cryptic, which I don't think he has. Dismember, Mana Leak, Spell Snare. One card I can't see all that. I well. believe that's another. No, it's not another Snapcaster Mage. I lied. It might be, but they're all foil and fairly hard to see. That's a Jace. That's that going a, to get Spell Snare. So he makes up with the non-foil by having an SDCC. Foil. Oh boy, that's ridiculous. So I, maybe that is a, no. I think that's Fork a, Bolt's gonna go one and one. I like the one and one. I think it's fine. He yeah. has a mana leak if he wants it, but I don't. I don't think it's worth saving a Snapcaster Mage. No. You know, it's you lose a creature in one point of damage. Not that big of a deal. Ooh, that's now, fantastic. now we want a mana. Leak. Now we're probably gonna slam mana leak, slam batter skull. That seems like the plan here. We, he could dismember. Sure. I think um, dismembering is fine because he can't do anything with the Tazigar. You know, he's got no ability to activate it. Right. And you have the mana leak for later turns for spells that sure. you want to try to get rid of. Yeah. But spells are a lot harder to interact with. That's true. So I actually, now that you've pointed out, I do like the dismember here, but Eric's going to go with the mana leak. Yeah, Save himself fine. a little life. Uh, there is the creeping tarpet to worry about. Sure. So, you know, it's... It's, it's which front do you want to fight? Do you Ooh. want to fight possible spell fronts? Do you want to fight further creatures of the Creeping Tar Pit? And Eric, Eric drew a land, so he could have had this member up, but he just plays Batter Skull and passes. Instead of playing the island, maybe leaving up uh, Dismember. Ooh. There's my favorite spell in the entirety of Magic, apparently. And that is a Colgan's Colgan's command. command. Getting back Chase. That's brutal. Eric's going to take a draw. He's got... Yeah, I, I think Jace is a, a very good card in this matchup. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it was a Snapcaster Mage. Snap Bolt. It's pretty good. And now we're we're yeah. back to kind of where we were before. We don't is that have... Thought Scour? I can't see what Eric's hand consists of. Paul don't... seems to have a Terminate, an Island, maybe some Fetchlands. Ooh, a Liliana of the Veil. It's pretty good. That does a few things in control matchups. Yeah. We're going to remand it and hope to draw a more permanent answer next turn. We we still have the dismember at hand. Man, these foils are so hard to tell what they are. What's the red card? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, me neither. Oh, there's a P in Kirin Nalar. Oh, that's going to be very that good. That is a against... very good answer to Liliana. Yeah. Blood Moon. Wow. I, I think at this point it's, it's a little too late. Yeah, I mean, you know, Blood it shuts Moon's... down Creeping Tar Pit, which is great. Yeah. Uh, Paul's already done so much this game. It's not he's not really going to be pinched by position of the blood like moon. Is very nice here. Yeah, gets the dismember Sadly, out of the way. P and Kieran are still lurking. Sure, but we have we have a couple answers to a portion of P and Kieran Nalar. Yeah, I mean we have uh, we have lightning bolt for the daddy himself and but the terminate and a Liliana. Yeah, the Liliana we I don't think we can play though. I, I probably agree with you. I don't. I don't think there's any ways left in the deck. I. I would be very shocked if Paul was playing more than one basic swamp. Yeah. So that Liliana is just stranded forever. So, yeah. There's not much other than, you know, land, P and Kieran and a lot. And Paul doesn't like that. So the two thopters are going to be a hassle. Right. You know, th those are the part that we can't really That's a 12 turn clock them. because Paul's got Paul's got looks like terminate for oh it's that's another a second Liliana. Liliana. So he's pretty much priced into terminating here? Really? No terminate? Okay. Take 5. 
Well, uh, Terminate's fine, because you probably want to hit the P in Kieran Miller, because it represents right. the most damage. So, and if he wants to activate in response, you're, you're not really getting anywhere. That's true. I, yeah. Okay, I agree with that. I was wrong. He wants to give Eric the chance to activate in response, because yeah. in the long run, that's actually going to be much better for Paul. We draw a third Liliana? I believe that... Maybe oh. not. Maybe a Colgan's Command? It looks like Colgan's Command, but I can't imagine that that Colgan's is a Colgan's Command. <laughs> Colgan's yeah, Command would be great. I, I don't think you I don't think you just leave Colgan's Command. I think you have to fire it off. Yeah. Maybe it's a Terminate. Ooh, Tazgar with mana open. With mana open against the Blood Moon. That's pretty sick. Uh, another thing I think is Paul's deck doesn't actually have any answers to enchantments. Grixis is not the traditional right. colors to be able the, to yeah. get rid of enchantments. Those are the colors that can't deal. Yeah, they can't deal. The artifacts all day. Sure, sure. Colgan's Command, we saw it. Colgan's Command, Snapcaster Mages, all the fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, it looks like this Tassiger is going to resolve at least. We, we have a bunch of sweet spells in the graveyard. We it's do. like Jace, Terminate, Colgan's Command, Lightning Bolt. Tassiger... Resolving. Eric's, yeah, Eric's, Eric's got, got a, a mana leak. Very awkward mana leak in the grip. Uh, I think. Ooh, snap dismember. Looks like it. Let's let's draw a card. Now it's Tazgir in response. Oh, those are. This is a very very. Good is that list of hit cards and run? No, that is a uh, rise and fall. Rise and fall. Remind yeah. me what that card does. So rise is a black blue sorcery, I believe that. Sure returns a creature from your graveyard to your hand mm -hmm. and from the field to a hand. Okay. Fall is the him that Turok want to be. Sure. Of if it hits a land, it's not a him. Yes. If it hits a land, it doesn't get discarded. So you reveal two cards from your hand at random yeah. and you discard all non-land cards. Sure. That's a spicy one. I, I like that one. I, I enjoy it. I think it's very good. I think Eric, like Paul, Paul just got Lightning Bolt back from Tazgir. Yeah, but Eric just drew a Cryptic Command, which you have to assume pretty much seals it. He's going to let this resolve. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's going to let both these resolve. It, the, like, four-turn clock is okay. This game is uh, this game is under control. I, I, I have to agree with you. Three yeah. life. Draws one lightning bolt and it's basically over. That looks like a terminate. If he wants to terminate a Thopter and I'm Eric, I'm just gonna let him. He he's already terminated a Thopter. Yeah. He terminated no, he terminated Snapcaster and he bolted a Thopter. Sure. So I think we got Manly Cryptic Command. Yeah, if I'm Eric, I'm I'm totally fine with how this game is going. Yeah, I agree. Your your deck's just full of basic lands. Yep. And great blue spells. Snare. Ooh, That's a shackles. shackles. But he's going to ship it. Yeah. It Not great, when, naturally, when your opponent has nothing on the floor. Yeah. And actually, at this point, like he can't even cast that much. So. so Eric's actually generating a ton of value off these Serum Visions, just shipping cards he doesn't want to the bottom. It's yeah. like he, he's going to electrolyze in his hand as well. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. Electrolyze face. Draw an extra card. You're at one. There's Snap another caster. electrolyze. He's going to electrolyze and a Snapcaster He's got a wealth of riches here. All right. Paul's, Paul's had enough. That's <laughs> enough burn spells to the face. Paul had enough after the, after the Blood Moon. The game just kind of kept going because it had yeah. to reach a natural conclusion. But yeah, he had had enough for a while. <laughs> huh. All right. Do we... Hmm. So we don't have the deck list in front of us right now. But I, I believe, you know, in traditional control style, we're going to see... More discard spells and counter spells out of Paul, and you know probably similar from Eric. You know if there's any like other artifact removal, Paul probably want it because Batter Skull's you know naturally a very good card. I believe I just saw a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker in Eric's deck. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a spicy one. So Eric very right now is boarding out three shackles. I might be shaving on Blood Moon. Okay. I don't know. So he's pouring out Shackles. So I guess... Out. Oh, right. That's pretty bad against Colgan's Command. Yeah. Shackles is bad against Colgan's Command. Cutting Blood Moons, I can see. Ooh, Jace, Architect of Thoughts. I think Karanos he's just... Yeah, Karanos seems insane. Yes. I think Eric is just shaving on Blood Moon. 
Yeah, I like shaving on Blood Moon. Yeah. Uh, Paul got really, really lucky in that match where he got to draw a lot of his basics and keep casting yeah. spells. But this next game, Paul is definitely going to be on the, I need to be able to cast my Lilianas and yep. my blue spells and all the other things. Yep. So he's definitely going to be playing around Blood Moon. So signing out some of the Blood Moons is fun. Yeah, you get a lot of value when you know your opponent's playing around Blood Moon to just shave one. Or both. I mean... You, you could that's a route you could go I'm not saying you should but yeah th there's a value in it yeah against a three color deck like this blood moon's very great you know you have man lands you just shut down with one card huh Paul can't stop shaking his head he does not love the blood moon that fell that last game <laughs> yeah I can't say I blame him blood moon is not the most fun to play against it's it's an interesting card I, I'm a Jun mage at heart and I've played against blood moon and it's never fun no but it got to the point where the Summer's Bloom decks and the Tron decks were actually so good that Jun was actually sideboarding its own Blood Moons. Right. Because none of the answers that we had were good enough. You know, you could Fulminate a Mage Land, but they drew more and could keep continuing to kill you. You could Sowing Salts, but you, know, you don't always draw the Sowing Salts, yeah. and it's not as relevant against the Summer's Bloom decks. I really like modern without those decks. I think it's great. Yeah. Like I'm super, I'm super happy with where it's at right now. And like, yeah. if this tournament and the Pro Tour are any indication, like, it's just a fun format to play. Like there are a lot of 80-20 matchups, but I mean, it looks like we've gotten pretty lucky so far. There's a lot of play to the past two matchups we've gotten. Yep. These are they've been both very, very great interactive matchups. Yeah, yeah. We can't ask for anything more for coverage. Sure. <sighs> So, Paul is going to take the play. Um, do we think he boarded into more hand disruption or less? I think we want more hand disruption. You know, okay. Game two, in the control matchup, as you saw from Eric, we're boarding in Karanoses. We're boarding in very, very awesome cards that are hard to deal with. Yeah. So, we want to be able to stop that from happening. So, um, Eric sideboarded in a way that makes Colgan's command much, much worse. How aware of that do you think Paul is? Do you think he shaved at all? I, I don't think so.